Sometimes, an opportunity comes along in your videography career that you just can't help but refuse. So you have your project, you've got your budget, and now you have to make it actually happen. The label or artist send over the bob you have to do what you want with. Brilliant. Shoot it in your garden and pocket the rest. But what's this? The band want a swanky studio shoot? Suddenly, that budget you had from that student band suddenly gets sucked away into the void that is... STUDIO HIRE! On top of that, you now got to pay for electricity use, extra lighting, and probably every time you floss the shitter. Perhaps also on that day your crew were taking longer poos than usual, so now you're running overtime and getting charged hundreds of quid on the hour. Where does it end? That's why I use Fire Island Studios in Margate as my infinity studio of choice. When you book, you get all of the stuff included on the screen here. And no hidden charges every time you flush your lunch away. It's not as glamorous as the sights of London surrounding it, but you can have a swim in southeastern waters, lovely seas if you fancy it. So the studio comes equipped with loads of fun stuff here. We have sea stands, lighting stands, some nice sandbags, and a bunch of shit I've never used before but looks good in front of the clients. When you arrive, you'll have these lovely LED lights lighting up the place, and because of the curvature of the back of the room here, you get this nice infinity look for all kinds of projects. On the screen now are just a few of the projects I've filmed here over the years, from music videos, to product shoots, to short films. But even if you don't need the infinity look, it also works as a messy creative space. See this video here we made for Babby. We stripped a car of all its parts over in Cliftonville and brought it over here and dumped it on the floor in the studio. We then got some of that water I was on about earlier and made a little water set thing on the floor. It's also perfect for photography as well and you can have these paper roller background things up in any colour you want. My favourite one's the piss collar. That's impossible. Here's a word from studio manager Johnny who's going to talk to you about what goes on here. Uh, hi, uh, yeah, I'm Johnny from Fire Island. I basically open the door, let people in, paint the uh, the old infinity wall, make sure you've all got a cup of tea and uh, answer the phones. And how do you feel about this all on a personal level? Oh, it's just so rewarding. You know, I, I love working with creative people and it's just so nice to see the community coming together. Moving on, we have the hallway of screams. <laughs> nah, it's not called that really. Call it whatever you want. But here you'll find all kinds of mad shit that people have left behind over the years. Beyonce left that one behind. Making a video and need some pink stuff? We'll have a rummage in the hallway and stick it in. We've also got this nice little dressing room corner for makeup and stuff. I keep going on at Johnny to get the little balls that go around the mirror, but he says they're only for dickheads. There's plenty of rails about for hanging up your costumes too. Here's one left over from Empire of Light. We also have this little kitchen area here for water and a lovely microwave for your Uncle Ben's rice. Also, we're surrounded by a bunch of deliveroos here so you can rest easy knowing that your greedy crew can get fed. The studio was hand-built and put together by the late great local legend Rob Warren who encouraged local artists to come together and make stuff. You'll find a massive picture of his face as you come in on the wall, so give him a wave and celebrate with a tinny with him after you've wrapped. So getting down to brass tacks, how much does Fire Island actually cost as of 2023? Fucking cheap, that's how much. Hire an entire day for just 180 quid, and you can book as little as one hour for 30 quid. Head over to their website and book a slot. You'll have the option to also book a runner if you want for 100 quid if you need someone to help out as well. Don't worry, it won't be me. No one needs to be embarrassed more than they are. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Fire Island Studios in Margate, Kent. If you're still in two minds whether booking a studio session is for you in London because of that This Morning scandal, then come down to sunny Margate in the southeast and I'll sort you right out. And also, don't forget a kebab from that shop on the seafront that has a baby as a logo whilst you're here. Right, I'm off to get the most out of that free poo. Like and subscribe to my channel on that, and I'll see you a bit later. To Infinity Studio and beyond! Property of Igloo Ghost. I don't see any fucking ghosts about.
So this is what it feels like to be an ice cream. I could do with one actually, while I'm in here. Anyway, subscribe to the Dog Brain Videos YouTube channel if you're still watching. I'll see you soon.